That thing looks freaking good, me! Thank you, looks good. Guys, there's a tornado coming at the shop right now. Bro, that's you crazy. see a turn in? To drive to Columbia tonight, and I'm flying back at 5.30 in the morning to be back at work at 8 o'clock. The shuttle's supposed to leave at 4.30. The driver is nowhere to be found. I got about 20 minutes to spare, but I need to leave, like, now. She told me I'm too late for my flight. I'm pretty sure I missed it, and there's not another flight that leaves Columbia today. So I don't really know what else to do, to be honest with you. The Nitto. His, his has always been on mine. I've never done 20. No. 28, 16s, 38s, old chrome, FTS lift. Gonna be f***ing fire. F***ing fire. Nut. You know I gotta film it before it goes. So I'm, gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna be in it. You just let me know when you're ready for it. No, you're good. You're good. I just, I want to get the before and after. So yeah. we got our, our new 2021 up here. Getting a nine inch McGoy's 26s. And we're switching it up just a little bit. We're doing 38, 15, 50, 26s on this one. So last time you'll see it stock. Should be, it should be a good day. Should be a good video. Starting off late in the day too. Late in the day, it's like four o'clock. Get to it, baby. Oh, it sounds good. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker looks kind of steezy. That thing looks freaking good with the 38s. That thing looks freaking good with the 38s, me. Oh, crap. Fall and die. That thing looks freaking good, me. Me, what do you think? I think it looks good. You think it looks good? I think, I think I think you look good. Oh hell yeah! Nah, I really does look good. Twenty six fourteen vortex. With I don't know why I keep selling these freaking thirty eight fifteen fifties. What? I don't know why I keep selling these tires. Tires. Get out of here. Thirty eight fifteen fifties. Look, so we went with the thirty eight fifteen fifty this time because we really wanted the square look. We didn't want the stretched look of the gladiators. And I think this might be the new move because it looks freaking. Great. I just love the way that that 38, 1550, it just, oh, it's got such a good look to it. Guys, there's a tornado coming at the shop right now. And the last thing I should be doing is filming this. But look how fast this wind is going right now. I mean, this is like no joke right now. And it's coming at us. The lights keep flickering. Freaking sketch, bro. Freaking terrifying. Bro, that's you crazy. see it turning? Yeah. Yeah, we're right. People are just out here driving like it ain't nothing. You hear the tornado? The alarm? Yeah. There's, there's tornadoes all around us. Man, that's crazy. Why are you rolling right now? No, not <laughs> happening. <laughs> no. Such an eerie feeling outside right now. Cause the tornado just came through. There's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff happening. Okay, okay. But yeah, it looks, uh, it really does look like, it's like purplish. Look, look on the camera. Ooh. Freaking beautiful, huh? Oh, oh, oh geez, water. All right, I'm going back to All right. All right, look, I got Jordan and I got Jake over here somewhere. What I haven't told you guys is that I have to drive to Columbia tonight and I'm flying back at 5.30 in the morning to be back at work at eight o'clock. So I have to leave I have to leave here by seven. It's a three hour ride, so I'll be in Columbia by 10 or 10.30. I've already got a hotel booked. So I'm gonna stay the night. My flight leaves at 5.30, so I have to be at the hotel by 4.30. Flight lands in Atlanta at 6.40, so I have to catch an Uber by seven o'clock and hopefully it takes an hour to get to work by eight o'clock tomorrow so you're saying that i'm opening up tomorrow by myself potentially yes but Friday. my goal in front of you guys as witnesses Bro, is happening. that we will be back at work by eight o'clock tomorrow on a friday morning what are we gonna bet on this on a friday morning eight o'clock we got a really big build I'm coming tomorrow against you because i want you to be here i need bet, you to be here bet lunch on it bet lunch on it, we don't make it. bet lunch on it we'll, we'll, do, we'll do we'll do a, a 20 minute um gap 20 minutes late is a sentence spicy really? chicken sandwich Spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. You didn't want to be in this, so me and Jordan, I can't. I don't I'll want to buy it. two lunches. I'll bet it. How you many get two miles, things of macaroni and cheese. How many miles within how many hours? How many miles? Like two or three hundred miles. 
But then I got to fly back. What if your Humber driver kid? I did it last time. Within how many hours? I drove back myself last time and made it to work. How many times are you going to... Hey, but this Uber... A couple, couple times on the road. Uber ride, though. Is that illegal on the plane? What if they're driving slow in the Uber? If they're driving slow in the Uber, then I'm screwed. What if they stop and get checked? So there was tornadoes within a mile, two or three miles of the shop, and I'm expecting to have no problems going to Columbia and flying back tomorrow. Dude, yeah, right. Look at this. You're going right through it. He's going to drive with the storm. You're driving with it. Look at this. Look. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. You're just going to be right in the line of fire. Right in it. Yep. It's about to go through Columbia now. We're going to make it work. I'm going to film the whole thing, and I'm going to meet you guys right here at 8 o'clock tomorrow. We're, We're going to film again. 375, though. Yeah. It's hey, not a, it's if, bad. if you do wreck, have your pants down. But they're this, just wondering, what's this, guy doing? <laughs> what's this guy doing? Hey, I've told you, if you your pants when you wreck, that's $10,000 instant. So, right. tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So, uh, that is there. Keep it coming. That's what they want to do. <laughs> Keep it coming. He's big boy. It'll be here tomorrow at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock's going to roll around so fast, bro. So fast. Mikey, what are you still doing here, bro? Mikey's out here just freaking stunting on him though. Freaking Jake out here? What? Do what? Are the doors all locked? I hope all the doors are locked. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 It looks terrifying outside right now. It really does. The camera doesn't do it justice. It looks freaking terrifying outside. And your boys hopping on the road. Hopping on the road. So this is our ride tonight, 2023 GMC 2500, 24x14 TIS wheels, nine inch McGoy's lift. We on the road, baby. Let's do it. Freaking locked. Great. There we go. Let's do it, baby. CMAT.com for all things. Loading happen. up the old girl with diesel. You know, get a good look at it. I may not be able to see it during the daytime because we'll be dropping it off and then he'll take it, I think, before the sun comes up tomorrow. My flight leaves at 5.30, so we'll be up early, about 4, 4.30 in the morning to ride back. But it, like I said, it definitely got such an eerie feel outside. There were tornadoes that touched down a couple of miles away from the shop. The power went out for a couple of minutes. Y'all could see the lights flickering in some of those clips. The owner up here actually had a tree fall on a car right in front of him, so thank God he's okay. There was a train that got pushed off the tracks, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes away. I mean, it's it's been freaking crazy around this area over the last couple of hours, and I'm just, I'm glad that everybody's okay. There's power lines down. Um, they showed me a video of a car that got flipped over in one of the towns next to us. I mean, it's just been absolutely crazy. And Alex is crazy enough to hop into the truck and ride out to South Carolina to go uh, drop this truck off to Quan tonight. You know, it's just, I like bringing you guys along for the journey is all it is. So let's get his bread. Bro, you know it's going to be a long night when you pull up to the Chick-fil-A and the power's out at the Chick-fil-A and you can't even get something to eat, bro. That sucks. It's going to be a long night. Bro, so... Obviously, I have to go through some back roads to get to the interstate and GPS has me going down this back road and I've had to jump over like two trees on the way. Like I'm terrified that I'm going to blow a tire right now because there's just trash and tree limbs and all kinds of stuff in the middle of the road. And I'm in the middle of this road that you guys can't really even freaking see and I'm just like terrified. I've got five miles of this right now. Like Canopy Road, there's trash all over the roads and just I'm freaking terrified there was a car stopped on the like in the middle of the road like literally just parked in the middle of the road with his flashers on like, a, like I, don't, I, I don't know why i mean i can't stop and help there's nothing i can do i got somewhere i need to have i have to be I mean, this ain't my truck i mean i just i don't know what the deal was but i'm on this like super dark back road off the main road and apparently it's taking me to the interstate and i'm kind of terrified to be honest with you so just quick update nothing crazy every time i speak she said yeah that sounds fine i've been a it took me down some back road and I made it. I made it on to 20 and I'm in Augusta. I feel like anytime I come out this way, I gotta I gotta come see my guy JW. Oh, for sure. And I, I told him that he had to bring out the uh, the Denali out. Is it a Denali? AT4? I can't afford a Denali. Can't afford Denali. I got a Denali today. This is the one time in my life I feel like I may one up you. One time in my life. But I, I told him to bring the truck out. I needed to get something to eat, so we stopped by Augusta to see my guy. I, if I was if I'm bringing a McGoy's truck through Augusta, then it, it just wasn't right for me to not stop by and come see him and come check the truck out one time and he's he's still kind of on me even though i got the denali but i just uh, wanted to come by and see you since i'm passing through yeah, of course you had to stop but i'm running late so i need to i need to go ahead and go or i'll sit here and talk for everybody right if you guys uh aren't fans already make sure you guys go subscribe show some love one of the uh 
one of the nicest McGoy's kits on the internet right now. Y'all go show some love. Gotta get back on the road. Look how big this hotel is though. It's gonna be home for the night. There's a lot of people here actually. Did not expect it to be this busy. Off she goes. Such a crazy experience. I feel like I'm, I'm living a dream right now. Let's see what we're working with. What are working with here? What up, what up? Get this bread. Freaking tired. What a nice little spot, a little TV action. What, what we got going over here? Look at this. Fancy. Let me turn some lights on in here. Check out the freaking look at the bathroom in here though. How nice this is. Sometimes it just blows my mind, you know, what's capable in life. You know, I just flew to South Carolina and picked up a truck, built it, nine inch McGoy's kit, 24, 14s and 37s. And then, you know, within two weeks, I didn't think I was gonna have to bring the truck back, but within two weeks, you know, we've driven the truck three and a half hours back to South Carolina, met up with JW and had dinner, shout out to JW. And now we've dropped the truck back off to the customer. I mean, first of all, how many people get to build trucks like this? And second of all, how many people are flying, you know, for free to pick up and deliver these trucks back to a customer all because of social media. I mean, it's just the craziest thing in the world and I'm just super blessed and super grateful you know for for what I've been able to do just in the first two or three weeks of the year you know being able to fly twice tomorrow and then you know we're going to Texas next month going to Miami next week we're going to California in March I mean it just I'm super blessed and super grateful for you guys and I'm tired and I'm ranting is really what's happening so it is currently currently 11 o'clock on the dot and the shuttle to go back to the airport leaves at 4 30 so it's gonna be a quick turnaround see you guys in the morning to get his bread Flight leaves at 5.30. Had to be downstairs because the shuttle's supposed to leave at 4.30. And uh, this is the shuttle that's not moving at all because the driver is nowhere to be found. And the guy up front hasn't heard from him. So as of right now, there is no shuttle going to the airport. So I called an Uber and I've got an Uber coming and I just never been more terrified in my life that I wasn't gonna get the ride that I'm supposed to to get to the airport to make it home today. So starting off the morning on a good note. The good news is I'm 99% sure the Uber just pulled up, so I got about 45 minutes until my flight is scheduled to take off, and I'm assuming... Look, there's, there's my Uber pulling in. I got about 20 minutes to spare, but I need to leave, like, now. Thank you, my man. I appreciate Have you. Trip. Have a good one, all right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. 31 minutes. She told me I'm too late for my flight. I'm pretty sure I missed it and there's not another flight that leaves Columbia today. So that is great news for me. So I'm stuck. So I don't really know what else, what else to do to be honest with you. So we'll walk down here and see how it goes.
It's been a, a stressful ass morning to say the least. Got picked up at the airport. The Uber driver was super cool. He had a black Tesla, super nice guy. We talked about all kinds of stuff. But I do wanna let you guys know that it is 7.51 and I just showed back up at the shop before eight o'clock, before anybody else got here with my Chick-fil-A. So the flight touched down at 6.40. It was a freaking nightmare to get picked up, but I need to explain that whole situation. We made it back to the shop before eight o'clock and that's proof for you, that is proof that I won the bet. So I got some lunch coming to me today, probably Chick-fil-A. Second of all, I kind of need to explain the situation to me just about missing my flight because the lady at the front desk tried to screw me is what happened. So first, wake up at 4.30, my flight leaves at 5.30. The Uber, not the Uber, the shuttle's supposed to leave the airport at 4.30. The guy never showed up. So thank God I called an Uber and the Uber showed up to say, to take me to the airport, right? Pull up to the airport at five o'clock. Means I got like 15 minutes, 20 minutes max to make it to my flight. I go down to security, I don't have what I need. I gotta go all the way back up to the front, wait in line, get my ticket, and the lady tells me that my flight is has been booked and is done boarding, right? So at First, she tells me she's gonna put me on the next flight, but the next flight doesn't have any seats available either. The next flight leaves at 6.30. I'm supposed to leave at 5.30, that leaves at 6.30, so I'd have to wait around an hour maybe to get a seat on that flight. The next flight after that isn't till tomorrow, and I'm just like, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. That just, I, I don't know what the deal, I'm not, I'm not that late. So long story short, she tells me to go ahead and go. I run back there, make it all the way back there with two or three minutes to spare. They tell me that I'm not too late, and when they go to scan my ticket, she had already moved my flight, so they won't let me on the flight now. And I had to sit around for five minutes and wait and see if there was any open spots on my original flight that I had a ticket for and let me tell you that was the longest five minutes of my entire life sitting around waiting to find out my destiny for the day but thank you Jesus it was an open spot my flight landed super nice uber driver back and I made it back to the shop with chick-fil-a by eight o'clock mission accomplished well, you know it's a good day when you got Matt Odom up here. How'd he do? Are you washing trucks today? Uh, Trash. I was, not anymore. Trash. Little watch, he's gonna park in the no parking spot. Come on, in the no parking spot. Oh, geez. I know that that brand new truck, oh, he hit the sign. Oh my God. I know that brand new truck has a rear view camera to see the no parking sign, doesn't it? Hard out here, buddy. What'd you mount over here? I mean, some ugly. 20, 28 and gas. 28 and 42. I think it's an XL motor. Wheel. Yeah. That wheel's pretty cheap. You can loosen this up now. Yeah, it's an XL motor. Still, hey, my guy's still rolling 28s and 42s, though. What you rolling on? B -b -b Bummers. Hey, they tins, but they clean, though. <laughs> you want, but it's all in boxes? Oh, yeah. It's just jacky, like, though. Like it's been sitting out there without. Those control lines look kind of dirty. Fire. Mm -hmm. Not the nut. These things are sweet as <laughs> Yeah. I haven't seen any uppers like that yet. We well, usually just need the lower arms. So I'll show it to you when see it. Matt, hold down the fork. I have hold the <laughs> okay. Little special. I can't look at that. Put that. Get out of here with that trash. Here. Curb wheels. Get out of here. You don't like those? They look good. The purple's cool. <laughs> Out right here. What do we got? We got a striker over here. I get the baby doll with it. Yeah, That's been here for a while, that. actually. So. This is the most chrome kit that we have ever done Woo! in my entire life. It's like opening Christmas presents for real, man. Damn right. We've done a chrome kit like this before, but not with the chrome uppers. Chrome yeah. uppers, yeah. So this will. Never 28s and 38s, so a lot, 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 lot of firsts here. Oh yeah, a lot of firsts sure. here. First I got, I got to put you on the spot. I know the story, <laughs> but tell me, where's the name Swap come from? So when I was in high school, I was actually at the lunch table. Uh, I spilled water on my crotch and left a <laughs> impression. And then after that, everybody's like, Brock, you got a sweaty. I was like, Yeah, I got a sweaty. Got a swap. Next thing I know, it's stuck. So. Forever. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Really I might I bleep a little thing, bit of that out, but. <laughs> the funniest thing that I've ever told y'all, when I first got up a Goy's kit, y'all were the two people that I followed on this. This is so weird. That ass. <laughs> Four or five years ago, he popped up early. Yeah. Just because of 375, whatever it was. It was yeah, the Nitto. His, his has always been sitting on mine. I've never done 26. No, so. fucking. Dude, I remember seeing yours. It was like so wide. You had the silver one at the. Which you still got it. Yeah. But, like, I remember seeing it and I was like, damn, that bitch is wide as fuck. And then I had just got my Chevy. I was like, I, I came up on a deal on those 26 Tufts. And I was like, oh man, I got to hop on <laughs> the, the, the 26s the is the like way to go, though. Yeah. Seven inch wheel space or something. Yeah. <laughs> That looks fucking sweet. Oh, that's perfect. They did good on this one. This is new. 
Yeah. Did we decide what year this truck was? This is a 2023 GMC Denali 2500. This is 2023. <laughs> Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two GMC twenty five hundred silver. I love the silver. Twenty eight by sixteens and thirty eight sixteen fifty twenty eights. Jesus. Jeez. This, hey, this, wide this is the size I've been telling y'all about the whole time. It looks perfect together. Thirty eight sixteen fifties on sixteen wise. We're about to find out. This should be the first one in the country done like this. Uh, for old team, team billet. Boy. What's his name? Armando. He has a fifteen hundred on the size. Uh, not Armando then. Not Armando. He's got a twenty five. Somebody team billet. Shout out Armando. Danny though. maybe. Is there a Danny? Maybe I don't know. Twenty eight, sixteens, thirty eights, old chrome FTS lift. It's gonna be fucking fire. Fucking fire. Fucking fire. <laughs> Before we finish up Swax truck, I want to show you guys the beautiful 2022 GMC 1500 AT4 that we put the McGoy's kit on at the beginning of the video. We finished up this 2022. We got that seven to nine inch McGoy's kit with the Adelief in the back end, the drive line space should have set it at nine inches all the way around. 2614 KG1 Vortex. One of my favorite wheels that KG1 has ever come out with. I just love the way the spokes look. I love that design. I love the cut. I just, something about it, I've just always been a huge fan. And something a little bit different on this one that I feel like we need to start doing more because it looks so freaking amazing. We went with a 38 26 Fury MT. It's got a lot more of a square sidewall to it. Got a lot thicker of a just tire, a 1550 versus a 1350 or even a 1450 like we're used to doing. The 1550s do require a little bit more trimming, but if you want my honest opinion when it's done, it still looks freaking amazing. Now we've reshaped the fender in the front a little bit, got it cleaned up with some door trim, and we took off the mud flap, did a little bit of trimming in the back, cleaned it up as well. No scrubbing, full lock, reverse, forward, nothing. Got the gloss black AT4, 2614s, 38s. It's so freaking beautiful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The customer's on the way to pick it up, and I know he's gonna be so freaking excited. It turned out absolutely amazing. And if you guys have not seen the video I posted last week, make sure you guys go check it out. We just finished off our 2022 F450 any level lift with 28 by 16 super single JTX Melees with this translucent copper color. And then we got the gloss black any level lift, the zero to 15 inch any level lift with the translucent copper accent pieces as well. We got the boxy four link bars in the front, the boxy four link bars in the back. We got the matching dually wheels in the back. 42s all the way around. It's freaking beautiful. It goes up and down. It's expensive. Everybody loves it. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check it out. They just did some color matching on it, so it looks a little bit different than the last time some of you guys may have seen it. A little bit of color matching on the front. I think they did the mirrors, and then they smoked out the headlights, and this one looks absolutely beautiful. One of the nicest trucks that we've ever freaking done. If you want my honest opinion, this is the two biggest styles that we build. We do the 350s and 450s with the big wheels, big lift kits. 
and then we do a lot of the 1500s with the McGoys and FTS. Two of our bread and butter style builds up here today, and I couldn't be happier to show you guys. Make sure you guys go check out that video a couple days ago. It should be one of my most recent videos. They dropped this truck off about 10 o'clock yesterday. I know that Brandon and Mikey were here till about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock last night working on it because we've only got about four or five hours to get this truck done today. We're only, only open till 12 on Saturday, so we had to get 90% of this truck done so we could start the traction bars this morning. So we come in today, front lift kit's on, control arms are on, cross members, front compression struts, dual reservoir shocks up top, the chrome FTS one, super beautiful. Quadro wheel lights are on. I think the rock lights are just about all ran as well. Yeah, we got two in each wheel well i think from what he said we're not going to do the frame lights but yeah all the suspension is done other than the rear traction bars you got your quad rear lights all the way around dual chrome reservoir shocks front and rear chrome upper control arms which is super cool i've never really seen that before so that's definitely different got your uh, your dual reservoirs up top as well chrome cross members chrome front compression strut bars like I said, quad row wheel lights all the way around, some rock lights in the wheel wells. And then somewhere over here, you got your all chrome traction bars that are going on the back as well. So definitely set ourselves up good to meet our deadline for the day. Definitely running low on time. We've only got about four or five hours in the day to get this one done. So we have our work cut out for us. Post-game interview. I'd like to thank my, my family and my fans. Tapped out. My mom. How do you Going. feel about today's performance? Um, came in kind of hot. Stressed out about it a little bit, but we got the job done. Secured it. Um, that's all I got to say about that. How do you think the, uh, the good week of practice helped you perform in the game today? <laughs> off a lot. <laughs> Can I not say that? <laughs> off a lot. Hey, I'll tell you what though. Two pump dunk. I don't know. So. <laughs> Post game interview. Is this home? Yeah. I would really like to see your. that we've ever built though. I feel like every truck that we build we say it's the baddest one we've ever built. Talk to me. 
Not the camera, no. I'm saying make eye contact with me because it looks better when you're on camera. If you stare at a fucking hole with the camera, it looks weird. Does it really? Look at me. Okay. Talking to the camera is weird? Talk to me. I can't talk to y'all? F*** him. What up? What's you? I'm talking to you. At home. <laughs> we, we've gotten to where we cross the line with customers a lot and we say a bunch of like off the wall things and half the time we have to backtrack a little bit i called the i called the tire distributor the other day and i said hey i need this set of wheels the guy's from texas i didn't really know him very well and i said hey i'm looking for this set of wheels and something about my boss being mad or something i forgot what i said but i ended up saying and i need to know who's getting this ass whooping and he just was just like uh what and sometimes you get them on there and they're laughing it's a good time the guys from kg1 we were calling them the other day and it was funny they were laughing it was a good time but the guy from hd if you're watching this i'm sorry it's muhammad, is muhammad. yes it was very uh very awkward big, bro. Okay. hello tell me about your uh so what you got for us got a 22 denali uh 2500 i dropped off here what dropped it off oh. looked like a piece of shit i oh. came back and uh keep, keep going keep going the, chrome get your dome and when you i got... get bored on camera i just pretend to be alex all right he got exactly. some uh, 28 by 16 KG1 forged on uh, some 38, 1650, 28 Furies. Got the 79 FTS kit. Chrome. Chrome everywhere. Chrome gets oh, you done. Everywhere. Point blank. That's, that's, that's it. Chrome gets you done. So, it's one of the memo we were running with this year. One of the first sets of 2816s that one that one the first set we've ever seen on 38s. And I think we've only ever seen this, what, one other time on a truck? So it's one of the first in the country. 38, uh, 38, 1650s on 16 wides. I only know of like three or four trucks with them. Yeah, so one of the first that'll be on YouTube for sure. Um, this might be one of the only times that Swap and one of his builds have been on YouTube outside of maybe like popping clutches or somebody. So yeah. it's, it's an honor, but look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him on the spot here. So we got 2022 GMC 2500. Beautiful, beautiful silver color. You guys know, if you guys are new to the channel, you don't know the silver truck, but you must be under a rock because you know we're rocking with the silver truck gang, the GMC truck gang. A nine inch chrome FTS lift. We've never done chrome upper control arms. I didn't know how that even works, but it's, you know, I had to edit some of that out actually that he said when he got here. He's, I'm, we're, I'm about to, f that's what he said. Thomas said too. <laughs> I was editing that this morning. I had to, I had to bleep it out. It'll be funny though. All chrome FTS lift is just top of the top. I don't think, I don't know how you can get any better than an all chrome FTS lift other than uh, McGoy. Sorry, I had to throw that out. 28 by 16. Like I said, first ones that we've ever seen. First one, we didn't get to mount them, but hey, it's at the shop. Shout out. Retired. Yeah. Today. We show love. I like flawless whips. Shout out flawless whips. Damn, I was about to say, oh, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Start making some YouTube videos. Stop playing. This Working might only on get a couple thousand views depending on how much time I want to put into the thumbnail, but. Yeah, we'll see. Start we'll making see. some YouTube videos. For so, sure, for hey, sure. Hey, I'm a, I'm, I'm, so the guy Leonard, I was filming a video of the Any Level Lift truck the other day. If y'all saw on Instagram, the, uh, if Alex didn't film it, it wasn't filmed right. I'm gonna give, um, if, <laughs> subscribe to Swat's YouTube channel, please. <laughs> what's the name of the YouTube channel? Yeah, what's the name of the YouTube channel? Just make it Swat, keep it easy. Nah, it's, we only got one, it's my old lady made it, it's the Barnacle Family. We're trying to keep it a little PG oriented. That's actually cool though. So, subscribe, yeah. subscribe to the Barnacle Family, and if yeah. he ever decides to make a Swat, you, swat YouTube, Hit the link in the description and subscribe to Swap YouTube. <laughs> and maybe if I'm lucky, he'll cut that out and put it in a video somewhere. Subscribe to Swap YouTube. That's a good, like, subscribe to Swap YouTube. That's a good Just in one. case you decide to send this clip to him and he posts it on his channel, you should throw your name in too so his followers can see. What's up, guys? Welcome to Swap's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below. We've got the nicest truck on fing YouTube, so subscribe. That's good. That's <laughs> energy right there. The energy. That's the energy. energy right I'm feeling it. See, you gotta bring. You gotta bring the energy. There's so many people that are scared to like talk to a camera. It's, it does help when you have somebody. Are you here. pointing oh, at me right sure. now? Yeah. For are you sure. pointing at me because I'm scared to talk to a camera? No, I'm talking about like me when I first started. I didn't want to film yeah, my first you YouTube video because it was. It was. I didn't like talking on camera. You just gotta get over. It. It's awkward now. Oh, but. dude. I, I love talking on camera. Later but. on. I'm gonna have to. I think it gets worse when you got someone next to you. Then all of a sudden you're kind of like, all right, I can't be so fucking stupid. I'd be talking about. Some I just zoomed in on your shit. face while you were saying that. <laughs> saying some dumbass He's shit. He's over here man. like, you can't be awkward. You're, you're, yeah, face. you're more worried about somebody like, wait, they're gonna look at you. So the, like, I think cool. the only one that's really weird for me is walking through the airport filming right now. That's the only weird one to me because there's so many people in the Atlanta airport. I mean, it's the busiest airport in the world. Oh so man, it, I don't. That, that one, I, I don't give. A, I'm walking through. Yeah. What the fuck is up? Like just oh oh. That one I'm kind of weird about. I can't walk into Walmart. Martin film and stuff like that. I haven't gotten to that point. Yet. Oh, yeah. But uh, hey, all jokes aside, 
in front of you. I appreciate you coming through appreciate and building it, such a beautiful truck and allowing us the opportunity to build something so amazing. Appreciate Jake behind the camera for uh, being my camera guy today. S subscribe to Jake's YouTube channel. What's that, what's if, that YouTube channel? Um, Jake's Lifted Life. I had to think about it for a second. Um, 99% sure I probably will forget to put it in the link in the description. So there's there's your plug, just, just so you know that I love you. Nicest truck that we've built to date, in my opinion. Came from Florida, from the homeland. If you guys don't live under a rock, subscribe, hit the like button. Let's get this fucking bread. Any last comments? Yeah, I'm about to fucking nut. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>